Hello, 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 and welcome to my new positive thinking tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about a phenomenon called self fulfilling prophecy. So, what is it? A self fulfilling prophecy it's a prediction. Usually, it's a prediction that we make ourselves about our future, right? And it's based on a belief that we have. So, the model is very simple we have a belief, and that belief shapes our behavior and in return the behavior confirms the belief that we have so if i think that i'm going to be successful then i'm likely to be successful and i am successful because i've always believed i was going to be successful yeah so the belief shapes the behavior the behavior confirms the belief i have prepared four beautiful examples just for you just to illustrate this um, this way of thinking story number one the story number one is a very powerful story for all the wrong reasons right it shows that negative beliefs can lead to negative behaviors so Martina Hingis tennis player playing Steffi Graf in the French Open final of 1999 she lost in the um, speech she said I don't know what it is about this place meaning Paris but I just can't win she had previously been in the final three times and she had lost three times right today she's retired she retired in 2017 she never won the French Open so her belief has always been that she could not win it and she never won it and she never won it because she never believed she could win it yeah story number two it's my story when I was young I picked up one of my mother's book one day and uh, there was a page marker and that page marker was a postcard it was a postcard of Piccadilly Circus since that day I always wanted to move to London and here I am 25 years later I live in London so my belief was I am going to move to London and here I am 25 years later I live in London and I love it I live in London because I've always wanted to live in London yeah so here it's a positive story positive belief and then it shapes a positive behavior story number three it's a very it's a story dear to my heart my best friend Richard got Covid last winter and was in ICU for a very long time, for three months, I think. One day he calls me and says, Thierry, I am not quite ready to go yet. Today, he's doing pretty well. So this shows you, if you believe that you're going to recover, then you will recover. Story number four, back to my childhood again. I had a, a girlfriend. I thought she was pretty, but boys thought she looked unusual and they were always teasing her. And one day I said to her, do you not get hurt by their comments? And she said, no, don't get hurt because my mom tells me she loves me every single day. So they don't hurt me, see? So she believed she was loved, therefore nobody could, could hurt her. Nobody could hurt her because she believed she was loved. Isn't that beautiful? So to finish with, I want to tell you this. Be mindful of what you think about and wish for because our thoughts and our beliefs are so powerful that you may just get what you wish for all right i hope you enjoyed it and speak to you soon bye bye